Let's debunk the water softener myths together so you can make an informed choice for you and your family. <laughs> okay, water softener myth number one. These things use tons of salt, right? Yes, that's a big claim out there. And they used to. Yes, they did. That's why there's a claim. That's why the myth is out there is because when you take a look at the old fleck water softeners or the old auto trolls, they use tons and tons of salt. So that did cause problems for clients. I'll give you a couple examples. This guy right here, it just goes off every couple days, plowing through salt, whether or not you're home. So there was no meter. So it, for people who lived with sump pumps, the excess salt would go into the sump pump pit and it would burn out the, the sump pumps because they're made of metal. And so you're dumping all this extra salt down into the sump pump pit. So you don't want to use one of those. Now, they're still sold today. Yeah, you heard me right. They're still sold today. It's crazy. You go online and you go, I want to buy a water softener. And when you want to get a cheap water softener, guess what shows up? Ding, ding, ding. Those guys over there. There's a, there's a rain soft one back there too. So there's even any one of them that is time clock driven are going to use a lot more salt. And then as a result, not only do you get the excess salt going down the drain and you're just wasting salt, which is wasting, you got it money right the last thing you want to do is waste money so you're buying bags and bags of salt which by the way that's not fun is it lugging salt in is not a good time so i get it by the way a lot of clients say i'm going to go salt free check out my salt free water softener video you'll learn a lot more about salt free systems that's a myth as well we'll debunk that we do sell them there are some cases that they work but in general cases it's not going to work so let's look at these old softeners out here. So these older designs, they are using salt every single day. Then in the 80s, early, late 70s, early 80s, they invented metered units, which counted gallons, and they used a lot less salt. That was a great technology that was out there so that you could use, it was counting gallons, then it cleaned itself. By the way, how does it clean itself? This is a salt tank, so you would put salt inside that salt tank, and then what happens is that when it goes to clean itself, it's putting water inside that salt tank so that it actually melts or dissolves the salt, and it uses sodium liquid water with salt, and it cleans the filter material here. So these time clock would go over and off and on and off and on, but now imagine this. You're dosing or putting 10, 12 pounds of salty water in here and it's cleaning itself. Now imagine it doing it all the time. There's gonna be excess salt in here. So what people were complaining about is they'd go take a drink of water and they're like, oh my God, it tastes like salt water. Yes, the old systems, the old designs out there, they did not rinse themselves very clean and they used too much salt. They were overdosing it. But you wanna know something in the 70s and 80s? We didn't know any better. That was the only technology we had. And guess what? That was better than nothing. But fast forward to today, and we know that excess salt is a problem. So there are new technologies out there like exact salt dosing. EcoWater has that. Um, also, Kinetico has that. That means that it's going, to, it's going to know exactly how much salt it's going to need when it goes and regenerates itself. Now, Kinetico's technology is a little bit older because what it does is it exhausts one tank and then once that is used up, call it 500 gallons of water, it switches over to the other tank and then it's gonna douse that first tank with the 10 pounds or seven pounds of salt. Eco Waters unit has exact salt dosing and so what it's doing is counting the gallons of water you've used and then it's only going to dissolve the right amount of salt in order to clean the amount of rock that's been captured by the filter. So the technology is amazing. They also have what's called upflow brine, which makes their technology extra good. So those use less salt. In fact, what you'll find by high efficiency units like that is there's less salt in a glass of water than there is in a slice of white bread. So yes, that's really worthwhile. But if you go online and you get one of these old designs, which are still manufactured today, which by the way, they shipped the factories over to China so that they could still sell them cheap, cheap, cheap to us consumers. You have that choice. Do you want that or not? So excess salt usage is a problem with those old ones and not with the newer technology today.
The second myth is that water softeners use a ton of water. Yes, in the old days they did. Why? Again, that unit was regenerating every second day or every third day, and they used 90 or 100 gallons of water. Today's computer systems that are out there, like eco water systems out there, not only are they using exact salt dosing, but then they are using less gallons of water during its cleaning cycle. So that does help you save more water. Now let's take a look at it. The average uh, today, all, all eco water system usually uses around 80 gallons of water during its cleaning cycle, which in our general terms depends on your water quality, um, but in, usually it's regenerating between one and two times a week. Most likely once a week is what we found. Now, once a week, it's using 70 to 80 gallons of water during that cleaning cycle. And, and you might say, you know, Drew, that's a lot of water. <laughs> well, hold on one second. It's really not. Why is that? Because you, your children, or your spouse, two, three people, every person on average is using between 50 and 80 gallons of water per person per day. That's per day. That's flushing your toilet, washing your hands, taking a shower, taking a bath, doing laundry, all the things that you use water with, that's how much water you're really using. So the average family is going through 200 gallons of water a, uh, a day in general terms times seven days a week. That's 1,400 gallons of water. So if you're talking about a water softener adding 70 gallons of water to that, it's really not that much. Now, the reason why that myth exists is because the salt-free systems out there say, oh, you don't want to use excess water. You don't want to use salt. Well, yeah, I mean, again, we have them. We can sell you one. It's just that it doesn't provide you the benefits that you typically want from a good quality water softener. Now, let's get to the third myth that's out there. Water softeners are bad for your health. Okay. This is a really favorite one for me because, you know, the reason why that one came out, again, it's because of old technology. So much salt was left behind that actually, if I go back 25 years when I started in this business, I would go out to customers' homes and they would tell me, my water tastes like salt. And you take a glass of water, I'm like, oh my God, they're right. It was awful. Well, again, old technology that's out there because it left so much salt in there. I don't even know how much salt was in a glass of water. It was off the charts. But the reality is with the advancement of new technology to use less salt, now we can achieve the benefits of a water softener, what it can do. And here's the key, a great NSF 44 certified water softener. That's NSF 44. That means National Sanitation Foundation. It's a not-for-profit that studies the manufacturer's claims here, they throw thousands of gallons of water at it and then test it afterwards to make sure it took the stuff out. NSF 44 means it also took out radium 228, radium 226, and barium. So it's like, it's actually making your water more healthy. Now, by the way, if you know three people that you love and care for that could benefit from healthy, clean water, please press like, <laughs> please share this video because what our passion here is to be able to help make you more healthy and make your family more healthy. And so this, the whole purpose of this channel is to be able to do that. We hope that we've been able to do that so far for you. Now, it, when you take a look at the fact that this softener is taking out toxins out of your water, there's huge benefits for that. But again, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the manufacturer behind this, which wasn't that guy, not that guy, not that guy, but it was this guy they have an NSF 44 certification. Again, you can go to NSF.org and find that out whether or not they've actually proven that their product is taking out that radium and that barium. But if it has that 44 cert, you can be what, certain that your water is coming out more healthy. Now the fourth and final one is only on water softeners that actually have built with carbon in them. Now Eco Water actually has a refiner. That refiner has carbon in it. What's great about carbon is it would be nestled right above this and that carbon dechlorinates water. Now think about that for a second. Chlorine, when you read the side of that bottle, it says toxic. Don't get on your skin, don't inhale it, don't, don't ingest it, all these, don't get it in your eyes, all these warnings. 
So when you look at a refiner like that Eco Water unit back there, it also takes out that toxin chlorine. Now, now don't get me wrong, chlorine is a necessary evil. I do think that it's worthwhile having it in the water for its transportation to your home through the plumbing pipes. But once it gets to your home, do you really need it? No, you don't want that. In fact, you've been told by your parents, just like we've been all been told, when you get out of the pool, go take a shower, right? Why? You want to wash that chlorine off your body. But wait, if the tap water has three, four, or five parts per million of chlorine, well, then sometimes that's more than the pool, which is three. So it's like it doesn't blows your mind. It's like, wait, this is not making any sense here. So if you want to be more healthy, you can invest in a high quality, salt efficient water softener, which will provide you the benefits that you're looking for. Benefits that I want to make sure are clear for you and your family. Number one, it will help you save money. It protects your appliances. What that's going to cost you money, right? It's also going to help you reduce your soap savings. Soaps are so expensive. I mean, this is money that every day is coming out of your pocket and you don't even realize it. Like Tide, the number one ingredient in Tide is liquid softening agents. So you're using chemicals to soften the water. So when you invest in a water softener like that, you can achieve a great benefit of saving your family money. The second big reason to actually have a water softener is it removes that radium that can be in your water. Now, not all water supplies have it. You can go to ewg.org and enter your zip code and find out whether or not your water has radium in it as well. But what you can be sure it is if you have an NSF 44 certified water softener is it's gonna take out those toxins and it's gonna soften your water, which by the way, in some of these systems, when they're built to that NSF 44 standard, we've seen them lasting 15 to 20 years. So you get your money's worth versus that guy or one of these less expensive systems that are online, which we see lasting only a few years. Again, at our company, you can see we can do anything that we want to do. We can go salt free. We could go, you know, we can do an introductory product that's less expensive that you can find in China, or we can do the high quality system. But our passion is to help provide you the education, the resources, so that you can debunk any myths you've heard about water softeners and you yourself can make an educated decision. Along that line, as you know, my name is Drew. I am here to serve you. Please, if you don't mind, check out our website at angelwater.com. Share that with your friends and family. And of course, you can call us at any time at 847-382-7800 so that we can help you and your family.